This is Timothy Collins. I figured I had to call him. Oh, call him. Collins it's is actual, here. Actual Collins. No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He's been drinking. <laughs> Timothy, how can we help you? I can tell. Okay, no, so, I was talking um, about you. Go ahead. There's been a lot of rumors about, like, a larger screen iPhone. Yeah. And 4.6 inches, I think, is ridiculous. But, but I think I have an idea about how they could do this. Because a lot of times when it's brought up, bloggers say, well, it can't be done because the OS, iOS is set for their apps to work in one way. Well, have you ever realized that when you run an app and you're on the phone call and there's that green bar at the top, it squishes the content. So you you're saying 0.6-inch green bar is what you're saying? Uh, in a way, it, it, but it can be, it can go the other way. So imagine a screen that's, that's 640, but instead of a, a 960, it'd be like an 1120. Mm. It would sit. It would fit on the same size device, mm -hmm. and all apps would currently work with just black bars, but just a tweak to full screen. So I think, uh, just so I understand what you're saying, you're saying that the screen would be larger, but they would use the real estate differently in the sense that there would be a section maybe for, notification. for notifications or widgets or something. And that place would just be dark. Too. And, yeah, and you're that, just dreaming now, just out loud. And then that would just be, what, hanging around when you're running an app? No, when you're running an app that hasn't been redesigned, they'd have black bars. That doesn't make sense to me. I think 4.6 inches oh, is... Wait, 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 wait. Listen to me. Listen. Oh. Right now, the iPad, the iPad just got a retina display, and all those other crappy apps look off. The, oh. the iOS developers are, are a really good ecosystem, and they're really good at just updating the app. Well, no, no. I don't think there's a question about the app update. I don't think it's a... I, I, I'm not one of these people who's like, look, if they wanted to make a 4.6-inch display... They could just change the resolution and say, "Here's the new resolution of our and phone." Everybody would do it, and everybody would just do it. Like that's yeah. what you do, like because you're moving to the next, you know, and you'd have whatever a, a universal binary for the older phone, or it would or scale. I mean, or it would scale, right? Um, I, I'm more concerned about the idea that the size is 4.6 inches, which yeah. Yeah. to me, I feel like Apple has been very careful to not. Um, to not like in a way price out the people, and I don't mean actual price, but like in terms of the size, price out people who really don't want a huge phone. And I think that's actually a relatively large segment of the market. I think we have well, some idea because of Android that like people are just dying for bigger phones. But you know, I was reading based on the millions and 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 millions of iPhones that are so and millions of iPhones that are sold. Wait, 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 wait. Right. I, I totally understand what you're saying. I'm saying that I think people that say a four six inch screen or pissing the wind. I'm saying a four-inch screen that's simply taller could fit on the current size iPhone. No, that's no, great. I, I agree with you. Wait, the current, like this thing? No, no. The 4S? Are you saying that you're saying... Yes, he wants to just extend the screen into that, the bars. You're saying that it would be... Yeah, okay, uh, wait. You see this? You're saying that this the white part would, be would, be, would become black screen. Right, right. And, and, it would, and it, the home button would be a virtual home button. Right, a, a virtual home button or... It would, it would just be elongated. Because the first, the first uh, site that rumored that the next iPad would be slightly thicker, in the same post, they said the same source, that the new iPhone would be 8 millimeters taller. That would give it enough room for a slightly elongated iPhone. I, I don't know, man. Well, yeah, but I, I, I actually think that, that if, if you, I don't know if you've ever read any of our reports about the next iPhone, the iPhone 5, which was well, obviously Cinco. not, not with the 4S. What's that? <laughs> the Cinco. Yeah, the Cinco. Um, you know, it, I think the screen's going to be bigger. I just think 4.6 is like a weird place to be for them. Why not 4? Why not 4.2? Why not, you know, I just like, uh, I, 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 I think they're going to go around the floor to 4.1 area. And okay. I think I don't think they're going to make the iPhone any wider. I agree. I think they're going to do I believe they're going to do like if they go up, it's going to be very slight. They're going to and it's going to be like the kind of thing where they say we increase the size of the display. And so it looks better than ever. Uh -huh. But we but we either kept the size of the phone the same or actually made the physical size of the phone smaller. They could do that in four inches. Yeah, they could do it in four inches by by uh, decreasing the bezel. And I think they mm. still have the pixel density to call it a retina the, display. The, 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 we did the math on this. The pixel density would be totally within retina All display right. levels. Anyhow, th thank you for the call. It's a really good point. Really interesting uh, food for thought.